As we look at uh, women in vulnerable communities getting financially included, and we have this huge advantage of the direct uh, uh, transfers that are happening into the accounts, and we're seeing that these dormant accounts, which were as high as 70%, are now down to 20%, which means people are actually using the accounts that were opened. This is a huge step forward uh, for India. To my mind, the two or three things we need to look at there are savings products, which ensure that women's bargaining power remains such that they can save the money for their life needs, for the three or four times in their lives that they believe they want it and that they're not being forced to withdraw it uh, by their partner, spouses or and other causes which come up from time to time. A second would be to ensure that they understand these financial products in a way that they can then use them. And the most important and third one I would suggest is that we try and build in entrepreneurship and skills in a way that they can earn money so that that earning encourages the whole financial inclusion habit and makes it sustainable in the long run.